Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for kicking my sister out of the house after she told me to choose a side between her and my husband? I, 31 female, have a 26-year-old sister who recently got divorced. It's been a difficult phase for her. She's also been having issues with my mom and came to stay with me and my husband for a while. She doesn't talk much about the divorce, she just says her ex-husband suddenly wanted a divorce for no reason. Which I find a little hard to believe to be honest here. I love my sister, but her ex-husband has always been polite slash quiet and treated us well. Once she's moved in with us, she started doing strange things. For example, my husband told me he found her a couple of times in our bedroom and she said she was cleaning, even though she doesn't normally help around the house or anything. Also, she claims my husband walked in on her twice without knocking, but my husband never uses the guest bathroom so I found that strange. She'd use my products but doesn't return them to me. I ended up buying new stuff. She also banned my husband from going upstairs because of the way she dresses. I told her how uncomfortable that made him feel, since he said he felt like he was walking on eggshells in his own house, but she said he was being controlling and needed to loosen up. But that not only annoyed my husband, but me as well. I told her to be more respectful with her clothing since they were inappropriate to walk around with. I even gave her some of my pajamas, but still wears the same stuff. What really caused the issue, was when she decided to use our bathroom next to our bedroom to take a shower. My husband was working in the backyard then when he walked into his bedroom, he found my sister there. She started yelling at him and he said he didn't know she was there, and had to leave immediately. I came out of the kitchen and my husband told me what happened. She then showed up and was lashing out, saying she already let us know that she'd use our bathroom because there was no hot water in the guest bathroom, and that my husband couldn't respect her privacy for 10 minutes. He argued with her and told her that he didn't know. He left, and I started telling her what she did was wrong, and that I was 100% sure she didn't tell us she was going to use our space. She got defensive and blamed my husband, telling me to divorce him like she did her ex, and that I deserve better. I got mad at her and told her to apologize to him. She took it as in I was siding against her, and told me to choose a side or she won't talk to me. I had enough, I told her to leave the house. I couldn't handle her attitude. She went to my mom's house, and my mom suddenly started berating me for kicking her out and letting my husband drive a wedge between us. I told her I seen her behavior, but she excused her saying she just went through divorce give her a break, apologize and come pick her up. But I refused to do that. Now for the top comments. Absolutely not the a-hole. Clearly, there's something wrong with her. I have no idea what it is. I'm hurt that she treats me and my husband like this after taking her in and welcoming her with open arms. She wants you to divorce too, so that she doesn't have to go through it alone. Sounds like she was trying hard to frame your husband for being a creep, so she could break you two up. This comment right here. Sounds like she wants OP to be single so they can live together without OP's husband in the way. Not the a-hole. She is actively trying to sabotage your relationship with your husband. I would honestly cut her off after everything that happened. I honestly have been calm and patient with her, but she simply has no respect for boundaries and consider this as me taking sides, but it's not. My husband also helps with whatever he can, but now he feels uncomfortable being in his own house and I can't blame him after this. Not the a-hole. Something is clearly going on and she needs to deal with it elsewhere, preferably with professional help. In the meantime, I suggest you check to see if any of your medication or jewelry is missing. She's not sniffing around your bedroom for nothing. Now for the next story. Update, am I the a-hole for telling my boyfriend he's a bad person? Original post. So recently my boyfriend got some dental trays for his teeth done, molds of your teeth, which can be used to put product in to whiten your teeth. He's done this before but lost his last set of trays, so went somewhere new to get some new trays done. My boyfriend told me that when going to pick up his dental trays, the receptionist just gave him the trays without asking for the payment of them. He then took the trays and left, knowing he had not paid for them. The receptionist called shortly after he left, and explained that a mistake was made and could he please either come back and pay for the trays or pay over the phone. My boyfriend lied saying he was adamant he had already paid before picking the trays up, and it wasn't his fault that they had no record of him paying slash that he didn't keep his receipt to prove it to them. He was pretty vocal to me about not wanting to pay for the dental trays if he didn't have to, and that it was the receptionist's mistake and on her. What sparked our argument about this, 
was a car journey where he answered the phone to the manager of the dental practice, who was following up the call with the receptionist. My boyfriend continued with his lie that he had already paid, and it was not his problem that they could not provide proof of this. Now, something about witnessing him lie so easily to this man really bothered me, and it bothered me that he didn't care if the receptionist may get into serious trouble, or even lose her job over this mistake, or that he wasn't losing out by paying as he would have paid for the product in normal circumstances. After the call, which didn't reach any resolution, I told him that was very uncomfortable for me to hear and witness, and he's a bad person for lying like that, when he knows full well it was likely an honest mistake by the receptionist, and he got a product he didn't pay for. My boyfriend's now giving me the silent treatment and seems really hurt that I called him a bad person, he says most people would avoid paying for something if they didn't have to. Am I the a-hole? Should I apologize? Now for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole in the least. Huge red flag here, what your boyfriend did is outright stealing. He is also stupid. This is the 21st century, the dentist knows he didn't pay and the police will know that too when the dentist presses charges. Thank you. It's good to see most people wouldn't do this. This isn't the first red flag of this nature, but this one really stuck out to me. I'm going to seriously reconsider our future, we had plans to travel, get engaged, etc., as it's clear our core values don't match, and I'm almost certain he could just as easily lie in this manner to me. Red flags. Girl, run. What if he decides to steal from you, your family, or your friends? Liars will lie just to keep up the practice. Not the a-hole. You called him a bad person because he is. Dental equipment is expensive. So that dental tray was in the hundreds if not in the thousands. He lied and knows that the receptionist could be fired over his lie and doesn't care. This sets up a disturbing pattern. Dump him as fast as you can. And call the dentist, tell the truth and save her job. I think I'm going to, I'll post an edit update soon. And now for the update. I spoke to the manager of the dental practice. I explained that my boyfriend had been open to me about not paying, and that he doesn't plan to. The manager said a letter was already on the way demanding the payment, and if boyfriend fails to pay, then court proceedings will begin. He was thankful I called and knew it was their mistake, but was surprised by my boyfriend's attempts to argue with him. That's a good result for now. I didn't plan on telling my boyfriend as I wanted to end it with him, there's been too many red flags, so I decided I could never truly trust him and I didn't want to add fuel to the fire. But before I got to end our relationship in person, I learned another painful lesson. Recently my boyfriend's laptop broke. This was fine as it was old and he can't work from home anyway, he sells cars, so he's used mine. Earlier this week, I'm on my laptop working and go to check my personal emails, except my boyfriend's email was still logged in when I opened the web page. I go to log out, but saw the most recent 30-ish emails were all from the same person, a girl. This was weird as who emails like that to converse anymore? I know it was an invasion of privacy, but I clicked onto the emails. I deduced this was a girl from his work, they were emailing because her mobile phone was broken, and emailing him from her work email during the day was an easy way for them to still talk. The emails were flirtatious. They mentioned dates they'd been on, he'd clearly been to her house, they spent lunch breaks together and she thought he was single. The more I read, the more enraged I became. What if I'd never clicked the email? After considering where I could bury him, I decided to remain calm. I called my manager to tell her what I just learned, she's super cool and said to take the afternoon. I then called an emergency locksmith and packed up my boyfriend's stuff, he alternates between staying at mine and his mum's, except for his PS5 I bought for his 25th birthday last month. When this purge of my boyfriend from my life was ready, I text him. I know about S. Our relationship is over, your things are on the doorstep. You must transfer me the money for XYZ. Please don't ever contact me again. And blocked him on everything. 20 minutes later, a barrage of knocks is at my door, as he's pleading to be let in to talk about it. I can see him but stay silent where he, can't see me. He was on his knees crying, begging, pleading for me not to leave him. Whether they were crocodile tears or not, my heart ached. After some time, he left with his stuff. I felt relief and had a good cry but I doubt that's the last I'll hear from him. I feel heartbroken, and stupid. An enormous thank you to all those who said his behavior was revealing of his character slash what he's capable of. I will apply the same vigilance to future partners. I know this is a dodged bullet, but it hurts like hell. Now for some top comments. Good for you, girl. 
he revealed his true colors and you respected yourself enough to believe him. You've had a rough week and it must have been tough, but you should be proud of yourself for how you handled it. Hope it is all uphill from here. He is going to bitterly regret being a cheating stealing jerk and you are going to have a beautiful life without him. Sending hugs and best wishes. The ironic thing is that, had he not given her serious cause to doubt his character with the tray incident, she might have let his crying and pleading persuade her to forgive the cheating somehow. Cheating is a hard thing to process, and too often the innocent party feels as if they must have done something wrong, because otherwise this good person wouldn't have cheated, right? But OP's eyes had already been opened. Yes, it does hurt like hell. Think of it as surgery to remove a tumor from your life. The incision hurts, but it will heal. That's a great way to look at it. Ending a relationship is never easy, and the fact that you didn't murder him is commendable, I certainly would have. I hope that your healing process is swift, and that you find a more suitable love in the future. Also, I hate to be the person who brought this up, but if you were intimately active with him, and he was cheating, be sure to get yourself tested for STIs just in case. Thank you for your concern, I did think I should go for a test. I'm not sure whether to tell the girl the truth as well, but I really don't want to know the gory details from her. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not telling my sister that the child she thinks is her nephew isn't my child? I, 27 male, have 5 siblings, we all had a great relationship up until 5 years ago. I found out my long-term girlfriend of 3 years was cheating on me, and got knocked up. I didn't tell any of my family at the time because I was handling it. Well, she gave birth and wouldn't stop harassing me, going around telling people I ran away from my responsibilities. Now anyone who knows me knows I wouldn't leave without a reason, and didn't need any more info than I thought, but my oldest sister was a different story. Now she has always been someone who can't stay out of other people's business. She would attack me and say all kinds of messed up things about me in public. I would be lying if I said it wasn't all funny to me, but it was. She pretty much went low contact with me for abandoning my so-called child, and the rest of our immediate family for not encouraging slash forcing me to step up and be a father. Well over the years I started to tell the rest of my family what happened, they would always ask how long will I keep this up. After the pandemic begun, she started coming back around our parents. Talking about all the time she spends with her other grandchild. My parents are the people who taught me about staying out of other people's business, and didn't say a word. Now we all got together for Thanksgiving. It was the first time in 5 years we were all together. She starts attacking me about the child, how big it's gotten, and how a father could abandon it. So, I responded, I don't know. Why don't you ask X why the real dead ran away? My sisters called me a liar, and I asked if she want to see the test results from 5 years ago. She was dumbstruck, and when she learned I wasn't lying, she called me an a-hole for letting her be an aunt to a child she's not related to. I'm being called an a-hole by her in-law's side of her family and friends, for letting this joke go on for 5 years. So, am I the a-hole? So, I just want to make one thing very clear. After my ex gave birth, I had the DNA test done, I was not the father and I cut her off. My sister went to see my ex without me knowing. Got her side of the story and immediately started attacking and berating me on social media. She never asked me, so I decided to keep letting her make an ass out of herself. No one else in my life took my ex's side, not even her own parents because everyone knew my character. When I don't immediately jump to be a father to the child, she went to our siblings and our parents to try and force me. When they didn't jump in, she went low contact with our parents and no contact with me and our siblings. I have not heard from her in 5 years. So, this is 100% on her. Now for the top comments. Everyone sucks here. Yes, she shouldn't have rushed to judgment. But there was no reason not to tell your family that someone who was purportedly a family member, simply wasn't. Not sure if you meant it to sound this way, but it sounds like you let this persist because you thought it was funny. Granted, someone else in your family also could have told her. So, she's probably the biggest a-hole if none of them wanted to mention it either, when she went on one of her tirades. But she's justified in being upset at you, even if it is somewhat self-inflicted on her part. Edit. Biggest a-hole is definitely the ex, because not only is she screwing with your reputation, she will be causing permanent damage to her child's emotional and psychological self out of spite. That is effed up. I highly disagree. OP's business is his own, and if his sister decided to butt in without asking his side of the story first, then that's on her. The ex could've easily told her that the child wasn't his but she didn't. 
If the sister wasn't nose deep in his business, that would have never happened. Not the a-hole OP. You're the a-hole. If your sister thought you had a child and abandoned your responsibilities as a parent, she was in the right to get on your case about it. Too many biological fathers do that, and it's really awful. This all sounds like some immature sibling rivalry that got brought into adulthood. Letting her think for five years that she had a niece or nephew like that, is plain brutal, nosy or not. The way OP makes it sound, is like after his ex gave birth, she started claiming the child was his when it wasn't. He also says the people close to him all knew the situation. It sounds like his sister is an a-hole, and he took the high road instead of engaging in a pointless fight because the sister had made her view of OP obvious. Now if he had those DNA tests for 5 years and purposefully hid it from the sister because he thought it was funny, then he's the a-hole for sure. The culture of shaming man and portraying every father that doesn't stay with the mom as a deadbeat, does nothing but make the situation worse. Everyone sucks here. The true victim is the kid who will either grow up never knowing his dad or hating a guy who got cheated on and a baby falsely pinned on him. Good luck to everyone involved. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.